welcome back. Thank you for flying Monovision 12, your pilot of the virtual skies. Today we are flying a FedEx A300 from Miami International to Nassau, Bahamas. So it's going to be a fun flight. I uh, originally did this flight before. If you uh, tuned into my live stream, I told this story. Uh, basically, I was flying this exact aircraft from Orlando to Atlanta and uh, flight sim crashed 30 minutes from landing so that was kind of disappointing so I had to scrap that video so uh, engines are fired up I know it's not really realistic but I don't want to go through the trouble of shutting it down and then only having for some reason sometimes when that happens one throttle will work and I gotta get a whole new airplane so we've got the cargo bay opened up we got our boarding door opened up with no stairs and we've got our pits open I am flying at dusk, so when we get there, it will be nighttime. I just wanted just enough light to uh, to show off the airplane. Nice looking airplane. I love the A300. Actually, got close up with one all this week, uh, driving by the the FedEx hangar in Indianapolis every morning. But uh, it's a great airplane. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and shut the. Uh, gonna go ahead and shut all the doors. Let's make sure they are secure. Let's go ahead and do a quick surface check while we're outside the aircraft. Alright, everything's working. Spoilers are up. Let's go ahead and put the spoilers down. Alright, now that we're inside the aircraft, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to need a pushback. Let's go ahead and contact ground. I guess we need clearance first. Miami, clearance delivery. One, two, three. And we'll go ahead and tune to ground. We're not going to contact him yet. I'm trying to find the instrument panel light switch. Cockpit lighting. There we go. That's perfect. All right. So everything is lit up now. Uh, so we're going to 11,000. I usually do this uh, while they're giving the clearance to us. That way I'm right there doing it while they're reading it. But uh, shoot, went way too fast on that. But I was too busy trying to find the cockpit light switch. Now we're going to 11,000 feet. We're going to go in uh, 250 knots because that is the maximum within the airspace we're in. Uh, our final altitude is going to be 31,000 feet. That's if we make it that high. I don't. I don't think. I don't know if we're going to. Well, we might make it. But as soon as we get there, we're going to have to descend at 250 to 51. There we go. Okay, um, we're going to fly runway heading, so let's go ahead and see, there, fly runway heading, runway 2000, 120.5, let's go up 3471, okay, let's go ahead and contact ground for clearance, oh, no, okay, I don't need that, Miami ground, there we go, see what runway we're going to do. Three zero. All 
uh, turn on progressive taxi because it's really hard to read the taxiway markers in this game. I'm going to go to 030 for the runway heading. And uh, for vertical speed, we'll go ahead and just set it at the default uh, 1800 for a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, everything is closed up. We are clear. Let's go ahead and push. Get the tug over here hooked up. Our beacon is on. Engines are fired up. So as soon as we push, we should be able to just head on out. While we're pushing back, we're going to go ahead and pull up the GPS. Put that down here. Now right, we'll go ahead and stop the push back here. Uh, let's resize the GPS. Try to get that arrow lined up. It's really annoying. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. see the whole route. Make sure the tug's out of the way. And it's just slowly creeping its way. So we're going to have to taxi through the grass just a bit. Just because of the way they pushed us back here. I don't want to do a... You know what? Actually, yeah, does it go on the runway for that? I'm going to have to anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll make a left turn. Okay, so let's pull the GPS back up since we went out of the cockpit and it closed it out for us. Luckily, we don't got to resize it. So, uh, let's see, taxi light on. Miami Brown, Cactus 719, or taxi to the gate. Cactus? Cactus 719, or taxi to the gate. I haven't heard cactus in a long time. Alright, so let's set our flaps uh, 10 degrees. Taxi light is on. We will go ahead and make a left turn here. Gotta watch how tight you turn this thing. If you turn it too tight, it'll just get the nose wheel and you won't turn it all. You just go straight. Sometimes tapping the brake works really well. I think we might better make this turn without going into the grass. Nope, we're going into the grass. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe you ever gone through the grass. Okay. It's just plain suck on here. There we go. As long as we don't get stuck in the grass, we're fine. So let's taxi to runway three zero. Ah, oh, darn it! I knocked off my. Oops. My armrest knocked off my. Uh, my speaker volume switch on my desk. Alright, so we'll make a left turn here. Don't see anything coming. We'll go ahead and turn the strobe on since we're crossing an active runway. And we 
are clear of the runway, strobe off. We haven't passed the whole short line, but that works. A lot of traffic landing here, but it is Miami, so. I like how they always send us to the farthest runway possible whenever you call for ground on here. Alright, so we got another active runway coming up. Go and pull the strobes back on. I can't see up the runway, so the way the windows are lined up there. Let's go ahead and cross this one as quickly as possible. There we go. Once we cross the hold short, strobes off. There we go. Miami Ground, American 's you that tuned in for the uh, the live stream enjoyed it I know I enjoyed it quite a bit I flew uh, Piaggio from SFB Orlando executive to Fort Lauderdale that was a lot of fun if you missed it it is up on my channel so you can uh, check it out uh, that Piaggio that I flew does have a full uh, cabin so you can Miami check out the American inside of it so during the flight I kind of slid back there a little bit checked it out the first half of the video I couldn't remember my hotkey so we uh I had no voice for that part, which I guess could be considered a good thing. They're about to call us and tell us to hold for this guy. I am way off the line here. This thing sucks to turn. Fire truck. There's something taking off right there. There's a triple seven. I guess that's American nine one heavy. Well, it'd be great if the fire truck didn't pull out in front of me. That's a 767. Alright, so we're going to continue taxiing. I wish there was an updated world of AI so you can have like, you know, get rid of the 767, 757s and put in some 787s and 8350s. Update the libraries. There's still uh, Midwest Air and all those on here. We'll pretend that that's a 787. It's a 763, but... I think the taxi's longer than the flight. At this speed, we'll get there in uh, seven and a half hours. Alright, we're 
across another active, so we're going to go ahead and flip on the strobe lights here. I don't get why they didn't set us up on, uh, oh, don't tell me we're free, okay, taking off on that diagonal one there. Alright, so right turn, as soon as we clear, turn the strobes back off, and then we will line up, get ready for this one. Alright, strobes off. We go ahead and tune to tower. Press clearance. FedEx 123. Perfect. As we're lining up, we're going to turn the strobes back on. Line up on the uh, displaced threshold right here. Displaced threshold, which is these arrows right here, means you can take off and taxi, but you cannot land. But I'm sure most of you guys knew that. Alright, so let's go ahead and check. We've got our landing light on. Nope, our landing light's not on. There we go. Landing light's on. We'll leave the taxi light on just for extra visual. Uh, strobes are on, flaps are set, we are clear to roll, spoilers are down, yep, alright, let's go, we've got two good engines, throttles in, listen to that roar, now we're on the hard surface here, 80 knots, cross check, Forty knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. That climb rate is awesome. In order to go ahead and contact Miami departure on one two zero decimal five. Some throttle out here. That's under two nine nine two. Go ahead. Uh, right heading one one zero. Go ahead and bring our flaps out, and we're gonna go ahead and flip on the autopilot. Uh, heading, no, no, you. I don't know why it did that. Acknowledge handoff. Zero. There we go. We've got our heading selected. We'll go ahead and turn on the auto throttle and altitude. There we go. This is why you got to have two guys in the cockpit for something like this. It's only really annoying because I don't have the knobs on my desk, which I need to get the uh, the autopilot autopilot setup. Oh, I'm not have to use my cursor to click through because it's really annoying having to use your cursor on the on flight sim because the planes move all over the place and the cursor doesn't stay in one place. Right, hitting one four zero. And you gotta hold the cursor in like that one spot. So if I had the knobs, I could just turn the knobs and it would be perfect. Alright, we're turning heading uh, 140 for FedEx 123. Heavy. Alright.
ground to one two zero point one five, which we are currently already are on, but they like to just keep contacting us and bugging us for no reason. Oh. Ooh, okay. I don't know why I'm turning to one two three point seven seven five if they've told me to contact one two zero point five. We're going to increase our rate of climb here. We have the uh, airspeed to do it. All right, we're going to go and turn off our landing light, taxi light. We've crossed over 10,000 feet. At this point, too, you'd also uh, turn off the fast seatbelt signs, but obviously cargo does not need to get up and go to the bathroom. One thousand seven hundred or seventeen thousand. Let's see. Go. Left heading one one five. There we go. Left heading one one. It's like 28 minutes, we'll be in the Bahamas.
little Cessna twin engine Golden Eagle passing us at 12,000 feet over there. Probably island hopping just as we are. Turn the signs on, not that it's really doing anything. I'm gonna turn those back off. I have no clue what that says. Got some uh, outside shots here. some good views right there. Oh, what are you doing? Get off the screen. Interrupting my progress. Okay, there we go. There's some good looking shots right here. I'm gonna get some screenshots. I've been having bad luck with thumbnails. I've been having uh, YouTube pick them out for me. Let's go back in the cockpit, pull the GPS back up. So we shouldn't be too far from landing now. 20 minutes, that's not bad. We'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can see where we're going here. It's gonna be fun doing a, a night landing. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna make 32,000 feet at the rate we're going. Bring it up to 2,600 feet a minute. That might be pushing it a little bit, but uh, we'll see what we can do. They're taking us up in really tiny increments right now, so it's, I don't think we're going to make 32,000. We'll see what they have us do. That might actually be too steep of a climb for this thing. Throttle in, see what I can get it going here. There we go. Go ahead and get it to 31,000 feet now. There's 30 up, oh, 31 8. So go to 31 even. There we go, perfect. Let's up oh, get the vertical speed back here. Go to uh, 2,300 feet a minute. As soon as we get up there, we're gonna have to descend like almost immediately. We got 18 minutes. We should actually, technically, in a, on a normal flight, be descending right now. hoping to get a lot more videos done for you guys uh, enjoy get a bunch of content out there get a bunch of different stuff have a, a good variety of things that way everyone's got something to watch I enjoy my fair share of uh, gaming videos and I figured I might as well make some for people to enjoy as well so we'll see how this goes
don't know if it's my tired haze, but the uh, the engines kind of the wind. I think the bass tone kind of sounds like someone breathing into my ear. That's so weird. I like someone blowing into a mic. Yeah, think about it, I don't even know if the runway's long enough here for this thing. It might be. Okay, land. Let me check it out now. I think, I think FedEx might land something there. Attack Miami Center, 134 decimal 2. So go ahead and there. There we go. out on the flight tracker here. Let's see what size aircraft are landing there. Hawker, Challenger, ATR, 767. Okay, so yeah, if 762 can land there, then I definitely can. Oh yeah, okay, I can definitely land there. Let's see. Oh, that runway is definitely long enough for me. Runway details. That's plenty of room. Send a... 25,000 feet. Oops. Yeah. Dang it. That's why I hate this thing. There we go. That was pretty close. Alright, perfect. Yeah, Romy 9 is uh, 8,273 feet, 14 is 11,126 feet, 127 is 8,273 feet, maintain 15,000. Contact Nazo Center 125 decimal 7. And then runway 32 is 11,126 feet. So I've got plenty of uh, landing room. So no problems there. Go ahead and contact Nazo Center. Expedite your descent to 15,000. 
I'm expediting as much as I can. You may have to have me do a circle. I will go into a hold if you need me to. There's only so much that I can do right now. You know what, let's uh, go ahead and pull the speed brakes here. That'll get us down. Yeah. There we go, speed brakes are deployed. So let's go ahead and turn our landing lights right now. Ah, oh, don't stall, you piece of crap. Autopilot off. My airplane. There we go. I freaking hate the airplanes on sim. I have the auto throttle on and it's not freaking working. What a piece of crap. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn that back on. Auto throttle. Why are you pitching up? Don't pitch up. You piece of junk. Okay, so we're gonna hand fly this stupid piece of crap. Alright, so we got landing lights on, we got the tax light on because why not? I'm descending, the plane's being a piece of junk, I'm about to freaking. About to declare an emergency. Backed all the way out. This is almost as bad as flying the default seven forty seven with the autopilot. some uh, 737 old generations I would fly. I forget where I downloaded them from, but uh, they would literally maintain 9,000. They would literally put themselves into a stall. They would like just start pitching up and they would not stop pitching up. I would, they would be at 32,000 feet with the autopilot set at 32,000 feet, they would just keep pitching up and up and up until they stalled. And they made me so mad, I just deleted all of them because it was so dumb. So we're going to maintain this heading and descend to 9,000 feet. Watch our airspeed. We're coming in hot. We're not busting 250 knots, so we're still legal. We've got our lights on and everything. I don't have any charts to pull out that I own right now. I've got Florida, but I don't think it has the mess out in it. Let's see, including Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, so I don't think it does. It might. But it's actually right now holding up my monitor so I don't want to pull that out. I think I might have a spare in my chart holder but it's I'm hand flying this thing so I'm unable to, to look so we'll just uh we'll wing it. Uh, we're going a bit fast. Go ahead and pull speed brakes again. There we go. Start pitching up, speed brakes off. We'll go ahead and arm the speed brakes from landing. There we go. 
slow our descent. We busted 9,000, but that's okay. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the autopilot. Heading 120 and 9,000 feet. I know, I know, I freaking know. Come on. Why I hate this autopilot. There we go. Okay, autopilot on. Expediting. Okay, this freaking auto throttle does not work. Right, now we're going to zero five zero. There we go. So the airport should just be off to our right, but we are in IFR conditions, sort of. There's the ocean now. We keep going through clouds and I can't see, so... So this is going to be semi-realistic. That's going to be a fun approach. We'll go ahead. Zoom in just a hair. Let's go and bring in our first set of flaps here. We're going to have us turn final here in a second. We are getting low. I don't know. It looks a lot lower than we actually are. Right over there is the islands. So I'm gonna not descend as quickly since we are still a good ways out.
right, so engines are looking good. Our flaps are working properly. Lights are on. Contact now is off road. Have us turn here in just a second. Maybe not. Guess not. Okay. Right heading 110, descend maintain 1700, clear ILS 14 approach, maintain 1700, clear until established on localizer, and then contact Nezzo Tower 119.5. Contact Tower. So we're going to do ILS for my 14. So we're going to fly straight in, so we're going to go ahead and take off the heading. We need some throttle, because the auto throttle is not working for freaking some reason, I have no clue why. So let's turn off the auto throttle, we'll just keep the altitude set in the autopilot because I can't see a darn thing, really, I can't really visually see how high I am over the water and I'd rather not crash into the water with all these Lufthansa owned crates in the back of the FedEx A300 so I, I I honestly cannot see the airport I think I might have a clue where it is over here but I, yeah, I don't really know so let's figure this out together So it's, it's, I guess, perfect for right now. Now, I'd rather not do a missed approach and have to go around because they're going to vector me all over the freaking place like we just did. And it would get very annoying. I'd like to be able to stick this one. So it's... It says it's just off the nose here. Okay, I think I see the runway coming up here. So that's the airport. So where is, I guess, there's the runway. Okay, so perfect. We just need to... Yeah, there's runway. So we just need to line up for it, and then I will turn off the altitude, and then we will fly hand fly the aircraft in by ourselves. So let's go ahead and put in another set of flaps. Down, we have the runway in sight. We're 
we're going to continue this landing. Okay, perfect. Sink that was rate. a bit of a, a steep Don't dive sink. there. Bring our throttle Don't in. Sink. Don't want to stall on final. I can do Don't sink. 20. Don't sink. Don't sink. This is runway 14, so we've got the correct runway. Oh, we're still high. This thing does not like to descend. That's the one way this thing is just like Don't the, sink. Uh, Don't sink. C-17. Right, Don't so sink. I'm stop talking and worry Don't about sink. the landing. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. We have to sink to land. Don't sink. We have to sink to land. Don't sink. I'm not a boat. We're going to sink. Don't sink. sink. Don't sink. I have to sink to land. Don't sink. Don't sink. We are floating. Holy crap. Okay, let's get down. This is gonna be rough. Oh yeah, that was rough. Reversers. There we go. No sink on its own. Landing lights are on, right? There's the lights. I thought I flipped them on. We will exit the runway when able. Okay, I can't tell where the taxiway is. Let's so look for the blue lights up here on the side. Taxi, we've got the taxi light on, bring our strobes off. Okay, landing lights off. Go ahead and our spoilers still. Okay, spoilers. Nope. Let's go. There we go. Bring our flaps up. Let's go ahead and taxi on into the. I think we're just going to go to the FBO over here. I think the cargo ramp might be on that side, but we'll just taxi in over here. out here a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, flaps are up. Spoilers are retracted. So we are cleaned up from the landing. So now we just got to taxi in on, on this. I guess I went a bad flight or a little bit rough on the landing and that whole approach. I'm not IFR rated, so never really done. I've done one IFR approach in my flight training, and that's it. And it it was a lot of fun, but I really am not 
schooled in instrument flying. That plane is, oh, there's a taxi toward us. We're gonna take this taxiway here to the right. So we did confirm we had enough runway because we, we landed that thing pretty good. There's a tug in the taxiway. Move! That's a belt loader with the belt standing straight up in the air. That seems logical. So let's taxi on over here, past this convenience store. Got a little convenience store in the middle of the airport. That's wonderful. Park off to the side over here. And then we'll just flip around right here. We'll park next to this convenience store. I can't get the plane to turn. You know what? Here's a perfect spot. We'll just say the Marshallers parked is really bad right here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and set the park and brake. Shut down engine number two. Gonna turn off the taxi light while we're at it. And then we will shut down engine number one. Once we see that they have spooled down, we'll turn off the beacon to let the ground crew know they are ready to, or clear to chalk us. And approach the aircraft. Beacon's off. Engines are off. APU. Firing up, so let's start the APU. I guess that's good enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the exit door so we can exit the aircraft. There we go. And then we'll open up, open up all these compartments. We've got the, uh, the three pits on the right side. Well, the two pits on the right side and the uh, bulk door right there. And then uh, got the loading door right there. So this is the end of the flight. And this will conclude my night. I uh, hope you guys had a great flight with me. Hope to see you next time. And remember, geek out, aviators. Goodbye.